It's insanely easy to start creating paper animations in Premiere Pro using artificial intelligence. I was able to create a AI generated paper animation effect in Premiere Pro using this website called Dolly by OpenAI. Um, pretty much they're the people who have been running the famous ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you guys create your own paper animation using AI. So let's go ahead and get started. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture and drop a new videos every week. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. Also, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram where you guys can stay up to date with what AKB Studios is doing and let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to Dolly on OpenAI. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description below. And what Dolly does is allows you to pretty much type in whatever you want and using your text are actually able to create images that you guys can use to create your paper animation effect or whatever effect you want to make. So I went ahead and typed burned black paper texture and this is what they gave us. But you can go ahead and type in whatever you want here. So if you want to go ahead and type uh, paper rib folds texture scratches with burns and you press enter they'll actually be able to generate some images for you guys so as you can see it's loading up and it was actually able to create us uh, some dull burn paper texture so this example i'll just use this one because it does have a lot of texture so all you do is just go ahead and press download it downloads your file what you want to do now is go ahead and just navigate to premiere pro this is the piece of footage that we're actually going to be using the paper animation for so what we'll do is we'll navigate to our downloads folder and then we'll go ahead and bring in our new AI generated paper. We'll go ahead and drag it on top of our footage. Now let's go ahead and size this to the correct sizing. It's gonna cover our footage. So let's go ahead and make this longer about four seconds and we'll do the same thing with here. So next thing you wanna do is go ahead and scale this up to about 200 so it fills the screen and go ahead and position it to where you want it. And then we're gonna start adding some keyframes to it. So we'll go ahead and toggle on the position and then we're gonna animate our AI generated paper texture. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and toggle on position, move over three frames, one, two, three, click on motion, move it over a little bit, go ahead and toggle back over here to our keyframes, one, two, three, go ahead and toggle the animation like that. And so we'll keep adding keyframes until we reach the end of our timeline. So I'll go ahead and fast forward and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So what I did is I went ahead and just copied everything so you should have an image that kind of looks like this so as you see the papers just moving around all crazy like so don't worry about it that's exactly what we wanted to do so next thing you actually want to do is go ahead and nest this clip so we'll go ahead and right click and press nest and now what we're going to go ahead and do is navigate to our effects panel and go to the search tab and we're going to type in posterize time so right now it's actually in 24 frames per second and we want to move this down to about three so it's super choppy so let's go ahead and preview that so now you can see that it looks super choppy and that's the exact animation that we want so now what we want to do is just change the blend mode so we can actually apply the ai generated paper texture to our video so let's go ahead and press multiply so that doesn't look too bad but you can't really see the folds and the scratches and the texture so i think what we're going to go ahead and do is use linear burn next thing we're going to do is go ahead and navigate to our effects panel again and we're going to go ahead and type in find edges and we're going to apply this to our actual clip and so now you can see the paper texture is kind of coming together so just depending on the look you want you either want to keep the invert toggled or keep it untoggled so it just depends on the look you want first thing we're going to do is leave it untoggled or unchecked and then we're going to go ahead and blend with the original video 50 percent so that looks okay Okay, so just to look at all variation, we're gonna go ahead and check this and we're gonna go ahead and mess around with it. So as you can see, if we have it, if we have it toggled and we have it blending with the original video at 0%, you can't really see the paper. So I'll go ahead and make this 75%. Doesn't look too bad. So I think what I like is we're gonna keep it untoggled. So let's go ahead and choose about 25%. It actually looks pretty cool. Maybe around like 30 to 40%. So that actually looks really cool. So if we play this back, you can see the paper a texture moving like that. And our subject in the background looks like they're part of the animation as well. So let's go ahead and finish up. Next thing we want to do is actually go back to posterize time. And just to get that choppy little paper look, we're going to go ahead and apply this to our original clip. We're actually going to slow this down to about seven. And we'll go ahead and render this and play that back for you guys. So as you can see, we have a dope paper animation generated by AI in Premiere Pro. So this is just a different way of creating paper animations for your video. If you want a more authentic look, what you'll have to do is take screenshots of your video, go ahead and print those out and tear those images and kind of distort them how you like. I think this is just an easier, faster and more efficient way to get that done. Obviously, if you want the more authentic look, definitely take the time to get the process done by printing it out and ripping the paper and adding that texture to it. That's definitely a way, but if you want to get it fast, you can definitely use AI in Premiere Pro to get that 
done. Also, if you guys are looking for some ways to speed up your editing time and streamline your workflow, you guys can check out my website and link in the description below. And you guys can check out some of the editing packs I have. Any type of videos that you guys are thinking for, I have a ton of assets you guys can use. Like I said, just check out the link in the description and I'm sure there's something that you guys can find that you like. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like and comment down below. I read all my comments and respond to everything. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Peace.